Hey everyone, welcome to Vet Chaser. Myself Ananya, a second year veterinary student. I hope you all are doing well and today is going to be our first class and I'll take LPM that is Livestock Production and Management. In this video, we'll talk about some basic things that you should have knowledge about LPM. And the notes will be shared in my telegram channel, link for which will be given in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram. My ID is by the name Vetraiser. So today is going to be the first class. Let's start. First of all, we should know the population of livestock in India. So the livestock contribution according to the 20th livestock census that was held in 2019 for India, the total cattle population is 193.46 million. For buffalo, it is 109.85 million. For sheep, it is 74.26 million. For goat, it is 148.88 million. And for horse, it is 3.42 lakhs. For poultry, it is 851.81 million, that is the highest. For camel, it is 2.51 lakhs. And for pigs, it is 9.06 million. So, the question is, is this important to remember? Yes, it is. Because this might be asked from one word point of view in the final exam. According to the livestock census, Uttar Pradesh has the maximum number of livestock population that is 68 million and the poultry population is highest in the state of Tamil Nadu having a population of 120.8 million. According to 2019 census that is the 20th livestock census. Now we will see the position of countries in the world population. Mainly we will see about India. So India ranks second in cattle population. Whereas India ranks the first in buffalo and goat population. Again it ranks second in the sheep population. And for poultry population India ranks fifth. These questions were asked in my board exams. So these are important. Here given is the livestock population of major states. You can refer to these by yourselves and we'll also see the major states having various species. For example, in West Bengal, we have the maximum number of cattle species, whereas in Assam, we have maximum number of pig species. So in West Bengal, the cattle population is highest that is 19 million buffalo population is highest in the state of Uttar Pradesh having a population of 33 million now this is the list given for states with maximum livestock population and livestock products in India these are some informations and if you want you can remember these for example, goat milk is produced by highest amount in Rajasthan. You can refer to other data that is given in the PDF. Now talking about the classification of domestic animals. We should know the classification of domestic animals in order to know where they stand. So the kingdom is Animalia, which is the largest kingdom in the world. And to be honest, we should feel proud because we are going to treat the largest kingdom in the wall and we are going to be their doctors so the phylum is chordata the ones having vertebral column class is mammalia they have mammary gland some other distinctive features of mammalians are presence of body hair and presence of diaphragm that helps in respiration subclass is eutheria that have placenta which helps in nurturing the developing fetus. The order is ungulata, which means hoof animal, and suborders are artiodactyla and perissodactyla. Artiodactyla actually means the even toed animals, that means the animals having even number of toes. For example, cattle, sheep, goat, 
mostly the ruminants and perissodactyla means the animals having odd number of toes most common is one toe that is seen in horse i know there is a lot to remember but these questions were even asked in our final exams as true or false so you can't skip anything everything is important so study properly now i'll talk about scientific names of various domestic animals we are not going to remember all of them we'll just remember the important ones indigenous cattle is known as bos indicus where the first one indicates the generic name and the second one indicates the species name exotic cattle is called bos taurus buffalo is called bubelis bubelis horse is called equus cabellus pig is called sus scrofa domesticus sheep is called ovis aris and goat is called capra hecus dog is known as canis familiaris and cat is known as felis catus or felis domesticus moving forward we will see the common terms used for different animals the meat of cattle is called beef for buffalo it is cara beef for cat calf it is veal that is the young one of cattle is known as calf and their meat is known as veal sheep it is called mutton for goat meat is called chevron for pigs it is pork and for rabbit and poultry it is white meat the act of mating in different animals is the method by which they mate in order to produce the young ones for cattle and buffalo this act is called serving for sheep this is called tupping and for goat this is called serving in pigs this is known as coupling in horse this is known as covering now we'll see the house of animals in which they are kept for cattle and buffalo it is called shed or byer or barn for sheep and goat it is called pen for pigs we call it sty dogs kennel horse we call stable and for rabbit it is hutch we'll now see what the group of animals are called for cattle and buffalo we call herd group of sheep and goat is called flock or band for pigs it is drove or stock or herd for dogs we call pack for horse also it is pack and for rabbit it is colony being a veterinarian we should know the difference between cattle and buffalo and the difference between sheep and goat so talking about the difference between cattle and buffalo we see that the left part is for cattle and the right part is for buffalo so dewlap is present in cattle what is dewlap dewlap is a fold of skin present in cattle and which is absent in buffalo the horn is rounded and conical in cattle and it is broad and flat in case of buffalo the legs are comparatively less strong and with small hoof in cattle whereas in buffalo they are strong and large hoof more number of functional sweat glands in cattle but in buffalo they have less number of sweat gland that results in heat stress as a result buffalo show a typical behavior called wallowing dense hair growth and sparse hair growth on the body of buffalo now talking about sheep and goat usually the sheep will give birth to only one young one whereas in goats triplets and twins are often produced the sheep are short whereas goats are tall female sheep has no horn and the male have twisted horn in goat both have horns but it is not twisted in sheep the wattles and beards are absent wattles and beards are present in goats this is the structure of wattle that you can see on the face part the sheep have dense hair growth of wool as we know wool is produced from the sheep and Uh, the tail is longer in goat whereas shorter in sheep the body conformation is rounded in sheep whereas it is angular and flattened in goat 
another behavioral difference that we get to see is that mostly the goats will show browsing type of feeding and the sheep will show grazing type of feeding behavior if you have interest you can also refer to these data for the differences in different species and you can also know what makes them different from one another here is the geological classification of different species in which you can see the kingdom phylums class subclass order suborder family genus species of almost all the animals that we are going to deal with in the next chapters so for next class i'll take common animal husbandry terms that are used in lpm i hope you like the class keep supporting subscribe to my channel if you like the content thank you for watching